med att de är, de är rika. The Russian också. oligarchs are richer than ever. The 1990s was a very poor decade in Russia. But during these years, the oligarchs to be made the foundation for their huge fortunes, in particular by participating in the world's largest privatization project ever. But it's only now, in the 2000s, after the rapid rises in international raw material prices, that those businessmen have become so immensely rich. So on the one hand, the oligarchs are richer than ever in 2012, but on the other hand, they have had to refrain from the political power they had in the 1990s, It is a good question. Vladimir Putin has been accused for being the richest man in Russia, not necessarily in cash, but rather indirectly with holdings in some of these privatized raw materials companies. But no one really knows. What is a fact is, of course, his political power. In Russia, he is often referred to as the power vertical, with Putin in top of not only the executive branch, but in all parts of society. Så när det kommer till power of an oligarch, he easily qualifies. Går det att säga hur rika de här oligarkerna är? Det är definitivt rikedom även i These guys are definitely rich also in an international perspective. You can find 15 of them on Forbes list of the 100 richest in the world with Vladimir Lisin as the richest of them all worth 24 billion dollars. Moscow actually hosts the highest number of billionaires per capita in the world. Hur lever de då? Alltså är alla Europa likadant att de lever på lyxjåter och har That is part of the truth, but not the whole truth. It is what you read in the tabloids, but I want to stress that these lifestyles have become much more sophisticated over time. In the early 90s it was enough with a Swiss watch or a slightly oversized suit to make an impression. But soon the car became the most important attribute to show wealth. It could be a Mercedes 600 or rather a Bentley in the 2000s. But now, to qualify as a super oligarch is not enough to own a yacht or a private jet. You need to own a Premier League soccer club. Roman Abramovic, he plays in his own league and bought the whole island outside St. Petersburg for 250 million dollars, where he's currently building an art museum. But I would say that the spending is still a way to show that you're rich.